Alrighty, back to it. Uh, ho -ha. Ain't making this easy on me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going up and not necessarily coming back down. Hmm. It gave me these to play with, but I don't know when I should expect that to come up again. I guess I'll just put them in here. Come back here. There we go. That's some planning ahead. So when I'm up there, I can find one here. When I'm inside the tower, there's one in the middle. So if I can pull them to me, if they come in handy, which they might not do. I don't know. They just gave me these. I didn't use them in the previous battle. Uh oh. Pretty sure I heard like a circular saw sound, like a, you know, a man hack. Yeah, that's a man hack sound. There you are, dickhead. I bet there's more. <laughs> Yeah, you can just hear him rattling around. Not always easy to tell which ones are like environmental noises versus threats. Oh shit, there's a guy. No. Is this even effective at that range? Probably not. There we go. I was being a little wasteful just because I knew I had ammo for this thing. God, it's so weird. They made you so weird. I figured it'd be unsafe to just wander through here. They'd probably come after me. Dude, you just had a bad time. Oh, see ya. Bye-bye. There you go. Yeah. Hey, that's a good to throw. And that had to all be collapsed, because of course it did. Um. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Can't just fall down for me, can you? Uh, how do I get higher? I guess we go that way? Unnecessary waste of ammo. That's gonna be quite a path. Uh, I guess that throw might have been less helpful than I initially thought. I can seriously just constantly hear man hacks, which is weird. Because, like, they weren't outside. I know they weren't outside the tower earlier. There's the implication that they're... It. Everything's gonna fall out of this thing any minute now. Yeah, I should expect I should expect a man hack to come at me any moment now. Which is the concern. But yeah, they weren't outside the tower. And they're not inside the tower. 
Why do I constantly hear them? It's like they're grinding against the outside of this shit, this place at all times. Ooh! I hit the G spot. The gasoline spot. Three mags left. A little wasteful. <laughs> Probably not gasoline. You feel really cool whenever you hit that spot though, it's just hard. See? It's like the whole earth split open and it's like full of honey! Woohoo! You think there might be an alien warehouse? Now it looks pretty Terran to me. Direction, just go. Are we gonna have a fight? Not that way. This way. <laughs> There's some subtle hints. All right. I think that's the main structure. So I think we're at our destination. Yep. Things seem pee chill ATM. No! We're doing good? We're doing good. Oh, there it is. My fear realized. Oh god. Additional fears, additional fears, additional fears. Okay. We're good. No? Why would you think I meant that? Hi! How you doing? I don't think it landed where I wanted it to. Go on, go on home, baby. Okay. Uh... That one. <laughs> Stop that. You still have to hit load on this one. Ow. Can I have that? No, nope. it's shiny for no reason. There we go. It's like, how do I put them in? There we go. Okay, so you can grab three at a time and put them in this thing. But interestingly, you have to do this. It loads it for you automatically, but it does not do what the... Like, this gun is a reservoir. You just keep shooting continuously and you're fine. This gun... It's four separate reservoirs, and it does have to reload for a time, but you don't have to do anything. It just happens automatically completely. You just have to wait for a second. But this one, you do have to reload. It's just that you press the reload button, and then you wait for it to load itself, instead of putting shells in two at a time. I'm kind of learning this on the fly, because this just hasn't come up yet. Those fucking man hacks are so startling. I'm amused that this is like fake cover. Ah! Okay. Stuff weighs whatever the fuck it feels like in this game. The hell? Am I recording? Sorry, just paranoid again. Every now and then I feel like I just never hit record. Click. What? Was that a glitch? I think that was a glitch, because it's not moving. It, 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 it's, like, really heavy all of a sudden. I don't think it was supposed to move weightlessly like that. No. No. It really thinks I want these every time. Thanks for breaking glass where I remember my kids play. There we go. Good place to be.
There's a control room. I see it. We're almost there. Are there any villains inside? You have to tell me if you're a villain. That's the code. Oh, there's no, there's no room here. I thought this was good. Yeah, maybe upstairs. I was definitely expecting that to be the room I usually go to whenever I deal with one of these types of areas. Like where I met the second Vortigaunt. Sweet bounce shot, yo. Another one of these. Bad throw. Hey! No, 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 no. God, that's just designed for that stupid enemy. Oop. Nope. Is he good? He's good, okay. <laughs> I was worried. Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. He's big, big. Stop having a shield. It's cheating. You're not allowed to do that. That doesn't work on me as well as you think it does. Stop it. Two shots left. Well, now we can uh, say goodbye to having a lot of, of the ammo in that gun. I used it. Sometimes smartly, sometimes not. Got one of these, though. Still got one of those boys. The My measuring tape weapon. <laughs> Why are you so light? Bye-bye. <sighs> Then go up that. Ooh, ooh. It almost looks like it'll let me. Now nah, the feeder over here. Never trust anything. They got blue shit on them regardless. It looks like you might be able to pick it up. kind of horrified how often I use ammo that uh or I use I use healing syringes that were literally stabbed into somebody already like I got them because they were sticking out of someone's body but they just like not plunge it correctly but it's like definitely not sanitary makes such relax relaxing sounds I want a particle field good for the whole family It's almost like we could use some kind of crowbar weapon in this game. <laughs> okay. I do miss the crowbar. They're just gonna give me a bunch of annoying wood to break throughout the game and not give me the, the thing that made wood satisfying to break. Like, at least it's satisfying to break a wooden box because you throw it on the ground, which does what you, you do to give the crowbar out and you go, yeah! Because he has this weird mechanical rapid fire Gah! crowbar attack that was like, Really he, Gordon Freeman never felt like a person when you were playing as him. He always felt like a robot. Where are we going now? Yeah, Dad. It looks like you will be able to get into the vault from up there. There's a terminal that extends a bridge to the entrance. What's the security like inside? I got it all laid out in front of me, and I tell you, there is security, but I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll have to improvise. Uh, don't worry, honey. I'll figure it out. The security is actually a temporarily brainwashed evil Gordon Freeman that I have to fight, but then somehow not kill with guns. And then he's like, ah, you shot me with bullets enough, and it's now, I'm now recovered and I am good. I don't trust this structure to not kill me. And then he's like, thank you, Alex Vance. I mean, human player playing Alex Vance. We're best friends now, you and me, Gordon Freeman. Just like 10, just amplify the fan service 10 times over. Oh, we are gonna go this way. She's so strong, she can one hand this, look at her. Look at that. She's really strong until the game doesn't want her to be strong anymore. 
which is mostly whenever she picks up a computer chair. Look at my gah! Gah! Now I crush this entire can. No. <laughs> That's interesting. I can pull this. But there is a final click on my... Yeah. Oopsie. Like, you can see me... I'm holding up to the microphone a little bit, but you can see... I don't know if it'll pick up. Like, you can... Like, this is me touching it. Then you can see me squeezing it. It's so like, that's me pulling the, the trigger. The moment I touch the trigger, the finger goes all the way down to the trigger. Then you can see me pulling it. Then you can actually hear a click when I go further. So there's like three states of trigger usage. Which is really weird to think about. And uh, they could get really, really like absurd with how many different functionalities that has if they wanted to. Kind of glad they didn't. Because I don't think I have that kind of fine control. No head crab on that guy. No one coming from there. No! Where'd it go? No. It's gone. Ooh! This one. There's a few of those around. We doing this, buddy? We fucking going? Really open area. I know my hands always look weird when I'm holding a, when I'm holding something with two hands, but like, this is the only way to do it, and like, it's hard to explain how stupid this is. But the fact that you can hear a sound when I do this is that you, that's my Vive controllers colliding with each other. Like, imagine holding a baton in each of your hands, and then trying to do this with your hands, when, like, the baton is in your palm, so it's like... This actually doesn't help me steady in any way, because my hands aren't even touching each other right now, the controllers are touching each other. Or, like, this is a, this this kind of does it. But my hands are not- my left hand is not where the, the game says it is right now. But oftentimes I'm, like, kind of, like, just kind of bracing it against the side of the controller, and my, my hands are touching more or less, but the game... The controllers aren't where the game wants them to be for them to be like a two-hand grip. So when you see weird stuff like this going on, it's because I'm trying to two-hand it. But it, it doesn't quite snap visually. But there's really no... You can never do with a gun what you do in real life, where you two-hand it. Because this hand is inherently not supposed to have also a gun in it. Because both of my hands have a gun in them at all times as far as the handle goes. So it's like... Eh, eh, eh. Like your hands are taped to something, because they kind of are. Hmm. Are they gonna come from in there? Or across this hall? They could come from so many different directions. When it, when it, wherever this fight goes next. Alex, dead ahead. Those controls dock the vault to the station. On it. Huh. Might go that way. I don't know. I'm hedging my bets a little bit on whether or not I want to keep this with me or down in this hallway. Because I actually have no idea what threats might come from what direction. Maybe from here? Maybe from the hallway? I'm kind of constantly ready for some kind of set piece moment to happen where like the floor collapses from under me unexpectedly, which completely fucks my planning anyway. We'll find out, I guess. Okay. Hey! Guy Corvette thing. Uh, you're a lot. What's going on here? Alright. Here we go. Time to go rescue oh. the savior of humanity. I guess I planned you know correctly. I mean? You haven't been doing too bad yourself. Earth could have used you in the seven hour war. Maybe we'd have lasted eight. Alright. Looks like the bridge is fully extended. Just need to gently dock the vault to the bridge. How far can that be? Oh god. Okay, well, one of these has to bring in the vault for docking. 
Right? Right? Almost certainly. Just pick one! Immediately! Uh... Ah! You. Maybe? No, not that one. Oh. Uh, you also? Alex, the bridge isn't moving. Why isn't the bridge not moving? I know. Russ, I can see it not moving. They're all blinking. Eh? Definitely not. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, is it? Oof. I'm gonna die. Not feeling great about Vincent's chances right now, if I'm being honest. Whoa, weird loading screen. Huh. Well, that poses a bit of a prabble. This is why we don't just pull random things, Alex. This is why we read the schematics. And then we play lights out. That's always how you solve computer panels. You play lights out and you hate it. But you have to do it every time for some reason. It's always lights out. Or there's three... The three bucket challenge. Oh, you gotta get this water into that container, but it has to be exactly that much, and you have three different size buckets. Wow, what a great time. Nothing says computer hacker extraordinaire. I just hit the microphone, didn't I? <laughs> Don't hit my chest. <laughs> like, uh, children's games. No! Alex! Alex, Alex are you okay? Hey, it's a Strider. Hey, I think I just killed Gordon Freeman. Mike. The vault's right there! Just go in and get him! What's left of them? I'm on my way. I mean... The vault looks pretty intact, right? It's just the city around that really got fucked. Like, this is a bad time. This is, yeah. That's pretty bad. Hang in there! Hey! Alex, you, okay? <laughs> you thought we were done. I I just killed Gordon Freeman. You thought I was beat. I'm on my way. Not gonna lie, I was pretty fucking worried. That was exactly the kind of hyper scripted transition set piece thing that I didn't that I thought it might not be able to get past. And fucking yet. <laughs> All right, we're probably gonna fight something, though. Yeah! <laughs> the unique victories and, and emotional curves we get from a, adding bullshit to a playthrough that wasn't even there. Okay. You guys have a bad... So you've had a bad day! Yeah, no striders in this game so far. They're kind of a hard threat to deal with with our level of mobility. But uh, they'd be cool because their scale, like they'd be real up there. They, they did use the scale to have one come at me that one time, but all it did was blow up the drone. Yeah, they're so weird. Like, they're alive. Look at that. In case it wasn't clear before, like, yeah, they're... They're alive. They just got, like, machine parts chunked in there. Like, I think at first I thought this was all machine as a kid. It becomes more and more clear that, like, that's just their exoskeleton. These things are... But they're really... They're really augmented. I think they've had a real, real rough time of it. I think the Combine have really forced some bad shit on them. And not much to do up here, I don't think. What a cool destruction scene. That's one of my that's one of my favorite things about AAA graphics is that there is uh, not necessarily the fidelity of just what it looks like all the time, which is nice, but not that important to me. 
But being able to sell stuff by having like that bridge warp like that and have like the environment destroy in front of you, it definitely like like really blew my mind when I saw the video of like I think Uncharted 2 or 3 where like you're in a building and the whole building like starts collapsing and it tilts and so on and it's like oh my god the environment's moving while I'm in it. That's like it's that it almost never like video games I, I'm used to video games struggling to have elevators that don't feel janky. Like that's the level of where I'm usually at. Like a, an elevator usually feels like it's like <laughs> like your character's freaking out and can't handle standing on a thing that's moving up and down. You can really wow me sometimes when you you when you when you surpass my expectations of how glitchy stuff tends to be. Oh god. I'm having a bad time. I could actually use that heal. I, I assume that's from the crash. So the crash did that to me, but Vincent's fine. He's really a hardy dude, except for the couple of times he's super not. Is this a trap? It is concrete. Like, it shouldn't just randomly explode on me. But this almost seems too good to be true. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't even have the, the decency to watch you die. <laughs> Stop vibrating my hands. You're gonna tell me that much fluid just went inside of me? Holy shit. Does it just add itself directly to my biomass on the fly? Like, that's terrifying. Cables. Let's try to move these cables with my feet a little bit. I'm like I'm like scratching at the ground like a like a chicken with my feet. You have to rebalance where the center of the weight is, or it'll start lifting off the ground. Choop. Well. I do believe shit's pretty fucked. I don't think anyone else had gifts for me. I saved Gordon Freeman's life. Bow, 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 bow. I saved Gordon Freeman's life. This song is so fucking old at this point. Total. They're estimating damage and they're just like, nah, it's just everybody. Everyone's fucked. I can't see the spot. There it is. I got it. Ah, uh, he was facing the wrong way. We're gonna do that at first. That was a little hint of emotion, kind of. Damage estimation. Total? Total. Like, I think he said like 80, 90, total. And then the other guy checked with him, like, total? Like, there's, like, shock. Like, shock is a thing they can feel. But not necessarily ever contextualized as being emotionless, they're just evil. They're just horrible exploiter dudes that are here to murder you. And do what they do. They're discompassionate. But it's still very rare to have any hint of emotion from them. That was, like, as close as you get. In their stoicism. Boom. Nope. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for. Weird rebar. Did I hear an, in an impact? Nah, there's no impact with this. 
Must have been like water dropping or something. Oh! Almost missed that. Those guys are sneaky because they can just roll away. At any moment. Lighting just changed. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. Pretty sure that was a ball sack head crab. Why'd I hear him in that direction? I didn't like that. Extraction needed. I don't know. Overwatch says stop kicking it. He stopped kicking it. <laughs> There's more humanity than usual usually expect. Anyway. Bye bye. Oh, an elevator. Deactivated though. Oh. Lucky break there. Could you imagine that thing blocking your way? Don't jinx me. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the things we're still waiting to have happen is a Strider encounter. Maybe they'll surprise me. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what an unusual amount of humanity shown by the Covenant. 